In this problem, we are asked to use the slope of the secant line to approximate the average rate of change of this function on negative 1 to 2. Now, we don't actually know what this function is. We just know that it's vaguely parabola shaped. But it shouldn't be too hard to take a look at the secant line and see if we can figure out what this looks like. So, we'll call that, generally speaking, the average rate of change is simply given by the change in y over the change in x. Well, right off the bat, we can figure out what the change in x is because we know what the interval is that we're looking at. So in this case, it's going to be 2 minus negative 1, or in simpler terms, 3. So we need to figure out what the change in y is, which is a little bit more difficult since, as I said before, we don't know what the uh, function is explicitly defined as. Well, let's take a look at our graph. So we know that we're looking at the interval from negative 1 to 2. And it looks like at negative 1, function value is 0. So we're going to go ahead and call this point negative 1, 0. may not actually be the case, but it's close enough for us. And it looks kind of like this point over here is 2 and 1.5 or three halves, somewhere around there. Important thing is that it's between one and two. That much we know for sure. Okay, so we're gonna say that our change in y is a little something like 1.5 minus zero, or just simply 1.5. Well, in other words, three halves divided by three so our average rate of change is just one half, approximately, of course. And there's our final answer.